had a question on survival, bushcraft, and prepping. My thoughts on the three. Okay. My thoughts are with, let's go with prepping. If you're prepping, you're putting stuff aside for a bad time. All right. That's what it's all about. It doesn't matter if it's global or just being out of work or maybe you know you're going to be in a hospital for the next month or so having surgery. You need to accumulate something up for when you can't go out and get it. You're preparing for that bad time, such as the word prepping, preparing for whatever you've got coming on. Survival. We do survival every day. If you're living from paycheck to paycheck, you're surviving, right? That's the way it is now in this country. You are surviving. It can be something catastrophic. You've survived a plane crash and you have to live. Or it could be there was a wreck on the way into work and they barely missed you and you survived it. Okay? Survival is whatever is happening at that moment. Okay? You can't... You can run through different survival scenarios, but you can never be 100% ready for every survival option until it actually happens. I mean, unless you want to carry around everything in the world on your back and say, well, if I need a screwdriver, I've got this, and if I need a hammer, i got that, and if I need a can of tuna, here it is. I mean, nobody has everything they need at the point of survival because you never know what it's going to be. You don't know if you're going to have a broken arm, broken leg, broken neck, blind, deaf. You never know. So that's survival to me, what's going on. And those scenarios that we work at to make our brains think and to make ourselves better, well, that's survival training, okay? Whether it be going out and living in the woods, can you survive if you had to live in the woods, to can you survive with no money? Can you survive with no electricity? Things like that. Survival. Bushcraft. Bushcraft to me is learning about the great outdoors from everything from animals to plants to building shelter to if I had to could I go back and live like a caveman well some people are like that I enjoy that some people are like well I just want to use it like a camping experience but I want to be able to eat some wild food fine you know maybe you go hunting maybe you do this maybe you do that it's all some form of bushcraft you're out there living in the bushes okay you're using the natural resources around you for different things. Now, of course, you can bring other things with you that are not natural resources, such as, you know, our nylon tents and things like that, but you get the idea on bushcraft. To me, they all kind of help each other out. Because if you're preparing for something and the worst comes, let's say global economic collapse, that's a pretty big one. What are you going to do? Well, you're going to have to survive it. You put some food away, prepare for it. And having bushcraft skills, knowing what's edible and what's not edible, or how to hunt, or how to do whatever, say you can't live in your house, say your house burns down, you may have to go camp in the woods. You know, you may have to go survive in a, an abandoned building. You may have to, you know, go hunting and fishing or getting water from, you know, the rivers, the streams, the ponds, the golf courses, whatever. And, you know, if those things come to happen. So having a roundabout in all three and understanding is a pretty good thing to have. My big comment or question they had about prepping because everybody's jumping on a prepping bandwagon. Food prices are going up, things are happening that way. Let me remind you, let me remind you, prepping is putting aside for bad times, but you can't put aside, or not 99% of us can't put aside for the end of our lives. In other words, even though I may have eight years of food put away, after my food runs out in eight years, what am I going to do then? Well, that's when the bushcraft comes in, the edible plants. Actually, it should come in right from day one because I want to augment the food and the preps that I already have. So if you were to bug out, bug in, do all this other stuff, you have to survive the situation. That's where your survival skills come in. And as far as your bushcrafting skills, being able to hunt, gather, and do other things, 
those augment your preps. You shouldn't just be relying on your preps. You should be going out and helping improve your situation, whether it be just gathering firewood to keep warm or to cook your food or procuring water or whatever. These things all kind of, I mean, they're all three different animals, okay? Prepping, survival, bushcraft. But all three of those animals are all members of the same species. They all come from the same family. It all works back to working for us. What we can do to make our situation better. If we can put some stuff aside, that's great. If we can learn what to eat, how to hunt, how to fish, how to gather, how to plant, do other things, wonderful. If we know where we can go get water, how to clean that water, how to clean food, how to gather different things, spectacular. So survival, bushcraft, and prepping all kind of run together at some point in time. Well, that's just my thoughts on it. I'd like to hear yours.